McFarlane's DC Multiverse will probably still be my priority when it comes to three videos a week. But when it comes to other figure lines that I collect, that I have a passion for, but not as crazy as I do for DC Multiverse, <laughs> I will probably make videos for them for Tuesdays and Thursdays going forward. And this can entail from Marvel Legends to, I guess, anything else that I collect that I just want to talk about. As for today, we are going to look at a particular figure that, let's just say, has been popping up everywhere every time I go to a store. I have been on the, you know, just... Do I wait or do I get it now sort of thing where because sometimes some of these target exclusives tend to go on clearance or if it's not a clearance, it's on a sort of sale. And me being someone who grew up with the MCU, but also liking the comic versions of the character designs for some characters, I've been holding back on whether I should pick up this Sam Wilson Captain America not because I don't want the figure it's just because right now these type of deluxe style figures are not cheap right $34.99 it's kind of expensive or actually no not kind of that is expensive <laughs> for you know essentially like a figure that doesn't come with a crazy amount of accessories right like you can already see from the box itself it includes pretty much his shield two pairs of swappable hands and the backpack and the wings that just go on him which is all he comes with which didn't have to be this expensive it could have probably been a little bit less i don't know <laughs> that's my opinion but luckily if uh you saw my community post from yesterday because this video is actually going up this month it's not going to be a pre-recorded video so um, that's that. <laughs> Apparently Target's having some sort of sale on certain things that last till the end of this month. I have no clue what's happening. I just went to Target yesterday because I was thinking, oh, well, I, prob well, I finally find that uh, DC Multiverse Fire figure. No, I didn't find her. And on top of that, I didn't find any of those Platinums that people uh were posting on and also i didn't find any red hulk so r.i.p <laughs> no red hulk figure for me until they make another comic red hulk in the future um but the sam wilson has been there coincidentally he's just been you know there's always been three or four of them just sitting on the you know the the toy shelf in the toy aisle and with the new movie coming out next year, it's just a coincidence. It's like, oh, look, Red Hulk and, you know, Sam Wilson, Captain America. Like, their comic versions are, like, at the stores right now, if you can find them. Which, luckily, the Sam Wilson has been quite easy to spot because I don't know if anyone's buying them or not. Maybe some people are just not interested. I don't know. But there is a sale for him going on right now. Uh, so by the time this video goes up there's probably like what I think a couple more days until it's over so yeah um, just a this is just one of those moments where I'm happy that I waited because prior to this you know I kept seeing this figure and I really wanted it but just I couldn't do it. Thirty four ninety nine, right? This is you know Transformer Voyager classes cost the same price now too. They're like at thirty four ninety nine as well. Everything's gone up in price, and if there is a sale, and it's an okay sale, I probably just take it. And for me, that's what I did. I saw it priced at twenty four forty two, and I was like, well, that's the retail price for most Marvel Legend figures, so I might as well just. Grab, grab it now 
But I have a feeling that it probably might drop even more in the future. And then it's still in stock. Who knows? I mean, that happened last time with a couple other things I was looking for. So, yeah. Okay. Enough of that rambling. We are going to be looking at this guy today. And this is going to be a different thing that we're looking at. Because it's not DC. It's Marvel for once. But I want to start it off with this because... Um, it just... It just happened to show up at the right time. So, all right. So you got the return to the old window packaging. So for those who don't know, they've been using windowless packaging for a while and have realized that it is bad because there's been a lot of figure swapping issues with windowless packaging. And here's the other thing I want to talk about because this goes into this whole thing. If you've been collecting this hobby, people figure swap even with these big window packagings, okay? So it's been a problem in this in the toy hunting community. There's always these assholes who do this crap and it sucks, right? For people who are trying to find something they're looking for. So when you introduce this whole windowless packaging sort of deal, because you're saying that this window packaging can't be recycled. It makes it even worse. And I haven't had any of those issues with those windowless packagings, but I have seen a lot of videos of people finding toy swap, figure swaps with them. So luckily Hasbro has changed their stance on that. And I guess this window plastic window is recyclable it's made out of recycled material so i think that's good but i don't know if, but this will not stop figure swapping because i already seen a couple new videos recently with the 85th anniversary stuff getting figure swapped uh so it's still gonna happen these things will still happen no matter if it has a window or no window right on the packaging so i just wanted to bring that up because that's one of the big problems these days that have been going on more and more than usual, I guess. I don't know how often figure swaps happened back then, but yeah. Um, so you got the nice window with everything laid out, everything inside. You have the artwork on the side of the box, which is the same on the other side, right? And then you have the back. And let's read it. I'm just going to read it. It says, Sam Wilson takes the mantle of Captain America to new heights, combining the iconic shield with his signature wings versus threats near and abroad. So, that is Sam Wilson as Captain America, which is kind of cool. I do like the fact that they're going in this direction. At least they did it in a natural way in the MCU because, you know, the story of 10 years and then now passing on the mantle to the next person. I think if you if you want someone else to take the title, you got to do it in a natural way. Just kind of reminds me a little bit of Batman Beyond, right? Um, proving that you can be that, I guess, the mantle. So, And then on top, you have that. And you got your information stuff. So now we are going to cut this box open because I am curious to see what this guy is like. I've never owned this figure. This figure is not particularly new from what I understand. It is a, uh, it is what you would call a, I can't really call it a reissue. It's more of like a repaint of the older Target exclusive one that came out a, a while ago it was part of a three pack from what i understand so yeah there's that all right so i open cut the bottom because that's the best way to take all this out and then this box can just go sit on the side all right so you got your information stuff as usual you got oh okay so you got a tray you got this nice little tray for the wings they don't look like they're held in. And then you got this nice little backdrop for his logo, so that's cool. Um, 
Okay, his wings are easy to just take off. Okay, they just... The nice thing about Marvel Legend figures, compared to McFarlane figures, in terms of packaging, let's just say that, is for once, I don't have to cut any sort of those plastic uh, knots, whatever they're called. However, it's still, it's still a pain to take these things out, so... Um, because everything is still pushed in. All right, so the shield comes off easily. Let's see if we can do the same thing with the with his backpack piece. I know. The one thing I never like about the packaging sometimes. Okay, I figure I'm gonna have to do this off camera. This is not optimal. work with me <laughs> it's like when the plastic is fighting fighting you because it doesn't want the figure to come out all you can do is just push the back part or okay there we there we go okay that's good and then last but not least we must get his hands out of there oh okay there's one of them there's one. The other one should be able to... There we go. Okay. That is all his accessories. All removed. Let me try to... Articulate this guy. And let me zoom in. Alright. There you have him. Looking pretty cool. I did not have much options when it came to picking out a good one. This was the only good one I can find because there were a couple of them that suffered from some paint quality issues. This one has it too, but at least it's not on the face too crazy. Because some of the ones, the hairline was not painted in correctly. So there's that. I don't know about this one. It looks like everything's painted okay. Yeah, but you can still see a little bit of, like, paint scuff on, like, you see that? And then the shoulders. It's okay. See? This is why, this is another thing I don't like when it looks like when there's always issues like this. But what can you do? You know, sometimes things happen. Um, so this is the figure. He feels very, uh, what do you say? Uh, I don't know, it feels very wobbly. I don't want to say he feels gummy. I hope he doesn't because there have been some Marvel Legend figures recently that have felt very gummy. As for his wings, it's really just a generic red plastic. Oh, can I get rid of that? Yeah. Uh, nothing too crazy here. All hidden by the sculpt. All the sculpt is hidden by this. Uh, it's kind of like a shiny, glossy plastic. Kind of. So that's the wings. What else is there? We got the. Oh, we got his backpack. That's the backside that pegs onto his back. This is the other side. Pretty cool. So that's where the wings are gonna go. As for his hands, he has the. You can say like the shield throwing hand. Pretty cool. And then he also has a. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, I'm going to bring this up later. Yeah, this stupid gripping hand with the pinky being this way, which, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to talk about this in the, in the, after. Let me just get through this. And then he has a shield of his logo on it, which is pretty cool. Now, this is also another thing I'll bring up later but because what's on the back is something infamous that nobody likes collecting marvel legends when it comes to these particular shields so yeah okay all right aesthetic wise let's look at aesthetics so on the on the image of the box he has like a kind of like a beard going on on the bottom of his face it's not present on the figure so 
I don't know what happened there, but there's that. Um, he has his signature logo on his chest. He has his belt, which is pretty cool. He has all these like straps and gauntlet stuff on his hands, which is also pretty uh, impressive. I do like how decked out he is. And then for his legs, he has his boots, he has his knee guards. Got everything going on, right? And on the back, it's the back side of him. Oh, there's a little paint problem right there, too. <laughs> yeah, so. I just love the sculpting. But sometimes the sculpting gets hindered by paint as well, which is another thing I don't like sometimes, but. I think this figure came out okay. Even for a reuse of something, at least they painted it better. Because I think I've seen the, I've seen what the original one looks like. And I don't know. I like this brighter color more. It, it, it shines more to me. So there's that. Um, yeah. So that's aesthetic. Now, let's put the wings on on this guy. Because that's the whole point of getting this. So... This logically should clip into his back, I hope. Like it goes into that. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. It's a tight fit. That's pretty good. That won't have any issues. Okay, that's cool. So that goes in. And these actually, I believe they can. Can they move? Yes, they do. They do move. Ooh. Oh, no. Gotta be careful. Oh please okay they, they have like a clicking noise to them when you move them so if you don't want his wings to be active it could be like this that's kind of cool uh one downside is <laughs> it doesn't really go all the way in so yeah there's like a little cappage right there as far as wings though if you want these wings on the backpack what you do is you can lift these up. So these can go up in a certain way from what I understand. This is my first time um, doing this, but I watched the video a couple months back and I remember. So these clip on. Let me try to. Oh, this is quite tricky. Okay, what the heck is going on here? Okay, looks like we got to do this off camera. <laughs> Why are they not going in? Oh, there they go. Okay, they're not like... Okay, so the wings, they clip in, but like they, they don't like make... What do you call it? They don't do it. They don't just, they don't make a click noise. You have to kind of like... I apologize, I can't show this. You really have to, like, put it in in order to make it work. So this is what happens when they, they're clipped in, right? And then now you can articulate his wings however you want them to. And I think... If I put everything back together... There we go. Give me a second here. Here we go. Now you got him with his wings on his backpack. Really, really nice. That's kind of cool. And then you can also articulate these however you want. So if you want him to look like he's going to fly, you can lift those up. Right. So now he's like ready to fly off in any sort of pose. So that is cool. Now, taking these off, you can actually remove these. You might want to be very careful removing them because uh, that piece that they peg onto feels very, very like fragile because of just the way it's held together in the backpack. So, yeah. So, my recommendation is if you remove the wings, just do it carefully. Don't put too much force. So... And I'm going to zoom out just to show how long these wings are. Look at that. These wings are big and long, which, well, they're not too big, but 
That's pretty cool. I like that. So the backpack got no issues. That is dope. Um, now I want to get into articulation if I can even show any articulation on this figure. <laughs> so might as well. Um, with Marvel Legends, they're not the same as DC Multiverse. So in this guy's case, he's a... Uh, He is more of simplicity. So you have, so the arms go up and down, they swivel all the way back. Now, if you remove his wings, his arms will go all the way back, which is what we're going to do because I actually want to show this separately. So his arms can go all the way back. He does have double joint. Uh... Kinda, not the best because of the arm gauntlets. So there's that, not the best. And then he has, his leg can kick out about that much because of this belt piece that gets in the way. As for his legs, oh wow, they, they fit, oh no. Oh no. I don't like the way that... So when I said it feels gummy. If you collect Marvel Legends as of recent. You would know what I'm talking about. Where it just doesn't feel like a stiff piece of plastic. If you Look at this. Look at that. It looks like it can warp. I don't know what they've been doing over there. With the plastic. But it's been real bad. And then his leg, I mean his feet can do that. Oh, and also he has a, his feet can pivot and stuff. Uh, I can't really go forward too much because something hinders it. The front of the feet hinders it. And also they don't have toe articulation, so that's another thing. Um, this can swivel, so then you can have him stand in any way you want. The other side of the legs are the same thing. Let's see if the double joint works on this leg as well. Yes, it does. And it feels really awful, too. Oh. <laughs> uh, Marvel Legends, what is going on? Like, why? Why is this happening? Okay, and he also has die cuts. So this these can rotate. Wait. Well, that's really stiff. Hey, that's good, actually. Yeah, that can rotate if you need that. Or swivel. Same thing with this. Now, you may be wondering, can he do the splits? Probably not. No. That's as far as those legs are going to go out. So, as for going back, that's it. As for the other arm doing double joint, yeah, that's about it. And then his, his head can look up. They can look down. They cannot do the side to side thing like multiverse figures because of the neck peg. So it can only turn side to side. Yes, so Marvel Legend articulation has always been. Uh... Oh, one last thing before I go into that point. So he has a hinge. So he has a waist rotation, which they use the belt to kind of hide the ugliness. But he has a hinge. For his chest. So this can allow the flying pose to look cool. In certain angles. But yeah. They have the hinge function. Okay. Now going back to what I was going to say. Um, Marvel Legend articulation has always been very. Uh, very iffy for me. I don't. There are certain things I like. There are certain things I don't like. I'm not a complete fan of how they do their articulation sometimes. Maybe with the head too, because the fact that the head can't even do the side to side thing limits the kind of expression you can try to like give him, even with a face like this where he's not smiling or anything, he's just very serious. But yeah. And then as for the wings, like I said, these can move until they close, right? And then the wings can go in, they can go out, but that's it. They only go back and forth. So there's not much articulation there. But 
there's not much that's needed since he is usually using them in that way. So now let's talk about the problems that I have with a few things because I do want to bring this up. Like, I do want to um, talk about the flaws of the figure as well. It's not completely good. So you notice how he has a gripping hand and he also has a punching hand. In the usual sort of deal, you would expect at least maybe two punching hands and two gripping hands. And then, of course, at least one hand to look like he's throwing the shield. They did not do that. So he has only one punching hand and he has a gripping hand. Now, this gripping hand looks like a regular gripping hand, which is very normal, right? Like, that's how it should look. Then you have this gripping hand, which I don't understand the logic to this. It was probably supposed to be a trigger finger hand for him to hold it for, I don't, well, he doesn't use a gun, but I'm saying if you want a gun, gun to go on this hand, it would have been. Instead, you have this weird separation with the pinky. And the only other time I've seen that on a figure was with another figure that I think is the best figure they put out in a while, right, when it comes to a Captain America. He has that problem, too. And if you know Captain America the Ultimates comics, he does use a gun. That's on a trigger finger holding hand, so he can't really hold a gun. Unless you do some modification to the hand. Really weird. Don't know what this gripping hand was for. Maybe to grip the shield. I don't know. But again, there is that type of issue right there. Also, this Captain America also had another pair of fist hands. So he has two fist hands. They are the same color, kind of, with this Falcon. So I guess it could work if you want to, like, swap it. Uh, because the arms, I believe, are the same. Oh, here we... Yeah, we're going to save this for comparison. And also the positive with this, too. So I'm going to save this. As for the other accessory, the so-called infamous shield... This is the peg and clip combination where that is supposed to go on his hand or his wrist or wherever you want to put this on. This is not optimal because if you've collected this line, you would know that these things are fragile. They will break. That thing will stress. I've been fortunate that my uh, other shield because I've only had one of these shields, but I've known that they've been using this for a long time. It hasn't looked like it's stressed. It could look, it might look a little bit like it's been stressed. I don't know, but it hasn't broken on me yet because I don't f force this in to the wrist when I have it for photos. I just try to like do it slowly so it stays on. And then once I'm done, I take it off. So the cap shield that came with the ultimate cap also has the same problem too where they reuse this particular shield how hard is it to just use a shield with double straps where they can actually hold it and that could probably be where this hand could be useful where it holds the strap right and i will i will show this example when i uh talk about the uh, Marvel Select Captain America that came out recently because that one does everything right <laughs> right and then Marvel Legends again just doesn't do it they just choose to use this again because it's easy to just repaint something of an existing mold and give us something this bad which if it breaks guess what you can't have one with the shield anymore so R.I.P. um all right, now we get to comparisons because I want to compare them and also talk about the cool thing about having these two figures together. So as someone, as I made that post about me completing my Avengers or that version of the Avengers from my shelf, now I can talk about how I'm very happy to finally have both of these guys together. Now, he's not in his Falcon costume. 
I still don't have that version, but I hope I can get it um, down the road if they remake it. But as for just having these two together, it is so nice to just have the Cap and the, and the Sam Wilson because I really love their chemistry in the MCU movie, especially in Winter Soldier. I just loved everything about the chemistry these two characters have. So just now having a Falcon figure in some form <laughs> as the new Captain America just made things even better. So yeah, this is really cool. Um, and I'm sorry the camera is like blurry right now. But in terms of the height, you can see that Cap is still taller, right? Cap is taller than him. I think that's about right. So they do share a lot of similar parts uh, in some areas. I think the arms might be the same. I could be wrong. They don't. They look similar, or they look different. But yeah, this is this is such a cool figure to have now. <laughs> all right, all right. That is it. That is gonna be it for this review. I uh, don't want to ramble too long because this is already thirty minutes of video, but. If you enjoyed this look at the Marvel Legends Sam Wilson Captain America and this very different figure review that's not the usual DC Multiverse, um, give it a like, give it a watch, give it a sub, or give me a sub if you want to. But with that said, I will see you in the next review.